Hello, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up a new satellite scenario in your Fala Car System Digital program. That system uses satellites under the ceiling to define the location of a digital car. Like in reality, for an accurate position, we need three satellites. Now, I have already 12 satellites to cover the city and the mountains. However, I am extending my car system roads to the other side of the hobby room, where I have constructed a new container terminal. And this area is too far away from the existing satellite coverage. So I decided to install three extra satellites to cover this new area, which you will later see is still under construction. We now need to tell the car system software where these three satellites are positioned in the reference to the main city. Fala calls this a scenario, and I will call it in this tutorial my terminal scenario. Note that the three satellites above the main station are defined as my main scenario. You will see that later in the video. In this screenshot of the Fala car system, you see the current routes on my model railroad layout. And I have also marked where the main scenario is located on my layout. The position 0, 0, 0 is marked with a yellow dot on my layout itself. To do this, we first need to define a calibration triangle under these three satellites. A good triangle has sides of approximately 800 by 1000 mm. The three points of the calibration triangle must all be in a horizontal plane. And, in addition, the base of this triangle is ideally running parallel or at 90 degrees to the base of the main scenario. As the layout is under construction, I used for two points of the calibration triangle temporary wooden blocks on top of the start staircase guardrail. It is essential that we measure exactly the location of our new calibration triangle versus our point 000 of the master scenario. This is very important and you should do this within 5 mm accuracy. Any mistake here will result in your vehicle later on being not correctly tracked. Let us start the calibration process in the Fala car system software. Click on weld and then on Anlagen Scenarien Anzeigen. A Scenario Info screen opens. Now click on Hinzufügen to create a new scenario. You can see I have already four scenarios for my layout. I will use the name Terminal for my new scenario. We click Weiter to continue. Next step is to select the three new satellites from the list. Make sure you have connected power to all the satellites, such they automatically report to the ground station. The software then knows that they exist. When not all satellites are visible in the window, then drag open the table to see them all. The new satellites are 135282, 134711 and 32123. We select manual calibration to proceed. You will now see the calibration triangle where you have to insert the dimensions in millimeter. In the next step we need to select a sender. A sender means a digital car switched on at your layout. Best is to have only one car active, because then you will only see automatically one car as an option. That way you cannot accidentally select the wrong car. Very important is now to select the current temperature above your layout. This must be accurate, as the speed of sound depends on the temperature, and this may affect the distance the satellites will record during the calibration. You can keep ultrasonic level at medium. You will see a blinking dot 
in the left bottom corner of the triangle. Place now your vehicle on that spot. Wait till the measure of the three distances becomes stable. And then click OK. Move now the vehicle to the second spot. And move again now the vehicle to the top of the triangle. We have now calibrated the three new satellites versus the calibration triangle. But watch out, we are not done yet. We still must tell the software where our calibration triangle is located versus our layout. Go to the scenario info screen. Click on the new scenario and then click on Verbinden. The blue triangle presents our new three satellites. The software has placed the base of it on point 000 of our layout. Obvious that is not the real situation and we need to correct this. So, now I will show you how you can move your new scenario from point 000 to the correct position on your layout. Now, let's remember our new scenario is located versus point 000 at minus 1540 millimeters along the x-axis and minus 2180 millimeter along the y-axis. And it's also rotated 180 degrees. So, look at the yellow arrows on the right side. Make sure our scenario is selected. Then use the four arrow buttons to move our new scenario to the correct XY position. The next step is to use the rotate button to rotate 180 degrees. And finally, most important, do not forget to put the V in the box Update Anhalten to save your work. Thank you for watching this tutorial and if you have any questions let me know in the comment box.